That's awesome. Uh, I've never actually played Call of Cthulhu. I, 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 Cthulhu, Cthulhu. <laughs> hey, you want to play uh, some Call of Cthulhu? <laughs> you know, hey, we'll hey, bring you know, John you know. and Josh. We'll come over here. We'll get some uh, cannolis. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you got your coffee, you got your biscotti. You know, yeah. you're done. You gotta... yeah. well, that Cthulhu is dry. It needs more sauce. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Avery forget, just told me I, I'm being like really loud because I've got headphones in, so ah. I just got I just got shushed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, get out of here! Get out of here! Yes. <laughs>since we started this thing, just finding you on, on Twitter, like randomly, I think what was that from a dungeon dudes retweet or something? Yeah. Like that? I think so. Cause I think you made a video. Your first video was shouting out some of your favorite uh, yeah. content creators, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah and I, was, I was like, I'm going to watch fun. this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I wanted to start my channel off on like a, I don't know, like a positive note, like, Oh, say who my favorite people are. And yeah. <laughs> Because I couldn't, I couldn't think of what else to start with. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how a lot of content creators begin, right? I mean, you're like, well, half the battle is just pressing record or, you know, you know, pressing yeah. send. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I just felt like the, from the, the moment I, you, I saw your first video, I was like, this is a dude I want to know. So. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. Literally got like a text about I'm it. Glad, yeah, I'm, I'm glad, yeah. Like I met some really cool people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, everyone was like, um, like, oh, Twitter is negative, and I and I honestly haven't really experienced too much of that. Like, every everybody I've met on Twitter and stuff has been really cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. I mean, the I mean, trolls I'm, are I'm, out there. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure there is like, <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I just try to like ignore, you know, like weed those people out. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's yeah, true. That's Sometimes thing, you yeah. make your your timeline is what you make of it. Right, Josh. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. If you if you if you look for the negative in things, you're gonna find it every time. So mm -hmm. but Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So I guess just to get things started, I know we introduced you as John from Blue Dragon RPG, but where could uh anybody that watches this video find you on the interwebs? Well, I am on Twitter and uh, let's see, Instagram. I technically have a, a Blue Dragon RPG Facebook, but I never <laughs> I never okay. keep up with it, so I'm just going to actively say, don't follow me on there. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a dislike. I, I, don't, I don't ever uh, update it or anything, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but is it just at Blue Dragon RPG, one word for the most part? And and that should do the trick, right? Yep. Yeah. On both of them. Yep. Well, and then also uh, we started the uh, John and Ava in space Instagram and Twitter, nice. actually. We, we have both of those. Okay. <laughs> And YouTube. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, subscribe yeah. Well, today. Yeah. And YouTube. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we appreciate that. Oh, uh, yeah, Ava and I, we always sit around and, like, have these conversations about, you know, deep stuff. And so we were like, maybe other people would think that this is interesting. <laughs> so I was like, well, yeah, let's just do this. That'd be a fun side project. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm really I excited agree. for that. Mm-hmm. And, and, of course, you could find all the links to that in the description, in the doobly-doo. So. Oh, yeah. I guess, why don't we just start at the beginning? So your channel, uh, your, the content you make is surrounding Dungeons & Dragons and tabletop mm -hmm. role-playing games. Yeah. So. Kind of focus on what I like to play. <laughs> yeah. So what got you into it uh, in the first place? Uh, like, like YouTube or just D&D in general? D&D in general. Oh, yeah. Okay. So my dad and his friends, they played, uh, I just remember like going over to his friend's house and, you know, they, they'd play and then I'd be playing, like playing with my toys and stuff. Uh, but eventually I was, I got more interested in what they were doing. Yeah. And, uh, so when I turned 10, they finally like let me in the group and let me play. And 
That's awesome. So I've been hooked ever since. That was 1995. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Do you so remember we, your first character? Yeah, it was a wizard. I forget what I named him though. <laughs> That's All my first character too. That character, <laughs> I, I just remember I had like two hit points, and I loved the spell magic <laughs> missile. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, first edition. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and see, they played, <laughs> they played like a hybrid of like first and second edition. Yep. So it's just like, they took the stuff that they liked from each. I mean, those editions really weren't that different to begin with, but yep. yeah. So I can't really say that we played first or second particularly, but um, yeah, we, I, I just remember having like some first edition handbooks and some second edition handbooks and we oh, just yeah. used all of them. So, uh, but yeah, my my dad passed away in 2007, uh, but I still play with two of his friends, so it's kind of kind of cool because <laughs> now they play with my daughter, and so uh, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of cool <laughs> how that worked out. It's so cool to see that the it's it's like a family tradition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it really is. But yeah, that's you're, you're the way you got into it is how I got into it. I was you know I was a kid, and both my dad and my stepdad uh, were into it. My dad played the games Pool of Radiance and Curse of the Azure Bonds on the old Commodore 64. Nice. And, uh, yeah. and my stepdad ran uh, the very first game I played in. And uh, yeah, I made a, a magic user, as they were called back then. And it was yep. also a blend of first and second. So uh, we had very, <laughs> wow. very, very similar, if not That's almost awesome. identical, <laughs> starting, <laughs> starting points. Yeah, that is, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> So yeah. what what year did did you start playing? Let's see. So uh, I I think I was eight. So that was that would be eighty nine. So nice. Yeah. Uh, That's cool. Do you That's guys cool. want to feel old? Yeah, Josh, make <laughs> us feel old. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm but... playing the longer than I've been alive. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in ninety five, so you started the year that I was born. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah. How do we yeah, boot definitely. someone from this Discord call? Let me just see. Here. There we go. <laughs> my my story for starting the game is uh, is is much less um, fun or interesting, I guess. I'm I'm a fifth edition new. I've been playing for like four years now, I guess. That sounds about um, right. Yeah, me, awesome. me and Jake used to. <laughs> yeah, it's it's great. I, I'm I'm glad that this was the edition I started on, but. Um, it, it, yeah, it's a good play Destiny together. We're in a clan. Yeah, mm. nice. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I've been wondering point, like how, like how you guys met and stuff. Yeah, go for it, Josh. All right. Well, all right. So I'll I'll just say we 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 played in a clan together. I'll I'll get back to the meeting in in a minute. But uh, <laughs> we played in a clan together, and then um, I don't even know how it came up. I think I had just mentioned like that it was always it was always interesting to me. And I'm just a nerd and like yeah, literally of, every other thing. I can't so think of a specific like conversation. Step. Yeah. Yeah. But he invited me uh, to play. And that was actually the first time that I met him in person. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we so, only met each other right. playing Destiny. <laughs> yeah. um, so it was like nice to that's so cool. meet you, I think. Yeah. Or whatever it was. I've known you for like a year, but. <laughs> yeah shake your hand for the first time i don't know just happen but, to also live on long island <laughs> yeah yeah we we um <laughs> one of my one of our mutual friends had a podcast for uh for destiny it's uh it's like a video game rpg thing and nice. we were both in the comment section there and he was talking about this thing that's like one of the most difficult activities in the game and i needed it for something uh just to get it was like the year of triumph or something like that that they called it Oh, and yeah. the end of the season activities, Jake, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Skolas, Jake, Jake, and one of his friends would just like sherpa people through it because they had it down to a science. They're like, yeah, you know, as long as you don't screw things up really bad, like, it's like do as it. you're told, young man. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> um, so we literally that that's how we met in that podcast thing. They they helped me do this thing in the game, and then you know, cool. maybe a month or so later we started raiding together and stuff like that and realized that he lived like 15, 20 minutes away from me. So yeah, that's awesome. But, yeah. It was, so that was is, really cool. uh, destiny, is that a uh, bungee game? 
that's mm-hmm. like their oh, okay because yes. I, I i played halo back in the day but uh yeah i so i'm kind of out of the loop on video games but i loved halo bungie is like an awesome company <laughs> yeah halo I it was great. I, I um I recently got the Master Chief collection. Yeah, yeah. I, I still play that. <laughs> yeah. I've That's never played I've Halo. Played... <laughs> Dude, you need what? To. I know. Uh, I, mean, it's like, <laughs> I need to. Oh man, it's so great. <laughs> it really is fantastic. Mm-hmm. That was the first shooter I ever played was Halo. It was Wolfen- Wolfenstein was actually the first one for me. Oh, totally oh my forgot. gosh. So, yeah, so. okay, I guess that's technically mine. <laughs> the like, grandfather of the really, mom. <laughs> I forgot about Wolfenstein, yeah. My my dad had that on, like, uh, a floppy disk or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah, I did the yeah, same yeah. thing. <laughs> oh, man, that and Doom. Oh, those are some really good <laughs> yeah, ones. Yeah, Doom. Oh, yeah, Doom. Yeah, well, I wasn't allowed to play Doom, but Wolf, Wolf 3D was fine. <laughs> <laughs> yep. really yeah that's crazy because that was like i think just as bloody if i remember correctly they were the same but one was fighting demons and the other was fighting nazis so. oh that's yes. right yeah yeah <laughs> yes the, i mean uh... you're you're fighting bad things either way so it's like but yeah demons i i i, I can see where i i grew up catholic yeah. so that was uh <laughs> kind of taboo yeah, Christian. The, the satanic panic yeah. was uh <laughs> was, was alive and well and still is my... in some places so i know yeah <laughs> Yeah. yeah, my yeah. grandma was not a fan of my dad letting me play D and D. Yes, I, I was allowed to play, but I wasn't allowed to talk about it with my cousins. So that was uh, <laughs> that was uh, that was a stipulation. I was like, okay, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. yeah, my dad would actually uh, fib to my grandma. You know, like, what are you doing today? Like, oh, you know, just going to hang out with my buddy. Like, oh, mm-hmm. what are you doing? Oh, just watching a movie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, why, why do we have to keep this a secret? It's not a bad game. I, I like to um, explain it for what it is and not what it's called. So like, oh, well, well we're doing a, a team building activity where we uh, <laughs> we <laughs> encounter problems and then use our communication and problem solving skills to solve it and, you know, see see where we go from there. <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah. that, sounds, yeah. that sounds productive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always describe it as a shared storytelling experience. <laughs> mm-hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> People are That's like, accurate, oh, interesting. Sure. <laughs> so what would you say is your favorite part about like uh, tabletop RPGs? Is it the storytelling like that? Or <clears throat> uh, yeah. Else? Like, yeah, just that shared storytelling, just like hanging out, you know, with a group of your friends and it's completely like interactive. No one is, you know, preoccupied with their phones or anything like that. So I, I, mean, I just like that. So I know you DM for a large group. Do any of your players <laughs> use their phones for their character uh, sheets? And they kind of give you the, oh, well, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm I, my hit points. I don't, uh, <laughs> I, I don't allow phones for character sheets. Oh, all right. Uh, I have one friend that is, uh, that she, like she works at a nursing home. So she's on call. She's like the head nurse. Okay. And so she has to have her phone at the table, but, uh, so yeah, it's kind of annoying cause she kind of abuses that. Like she'll, she'll just be flipping through Amazon what? or something and, <laughs> and everyone else will be like, it's your turn. <laughs> it's, it's, her. <laughs> it's not too, too bad. <laughs> yeah. But that's a good point, right? If you're at the, if, if everybody's giving their time together, you could, you could dial in, right? If we should dial oh, yeah. in and focus. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the way I look at it is like, and, and this is like what I try to do when I'm a player is like, you know, I respect the dungeon master's time. And I realize that be, because I am a dungeon master, I realize how much work goes into preparing the game. And so sure. I try to be respectful whenever I'm a player, <laughs> try not to be too distracted with things. Yeah. So, um, so you have, now you have two YouTube channels, uh, between, yeah. uh, John and Ava in space. I have to remember because that one's the new one. Yeah. Um, yep. Blue Dragon RPG. So, do you have any specific goals for them? Like, are they something no, like really. I'm going to do this and enjoy my enjoy myself, enjoy the journey, or do you have like, yeah, I, I don't know. I want to change the world with my message. You know, whatever your <laughs> thoughts are. <laughs> no, it's just um, I enjoy doing it. I actually I find video editing like kind of relaxing and. I just really enjoy yeah. the art, the art of video editing. So even mm. though, I mean, I don't use anything fancy. I just use iMovie, which is a free like program or whatever. But uh, mm. so I'm not trying to do like anything 
crazy fancy or get like a million subscribers or anything. I just, I think it's cool if people subscribe and like what I'm doing, but if not, yeah. you know, I'm kind of just doing it for me, I guess. Sure. <laughs> not, not for, I don't mean for that to, to sound it. like selfish or anything, but it's like, it's no. just meant to be like a relaxing kind of self-expression. Just yeah. me sharing my passion for the hobby with whoever wants to watch. Yeah, I, honestly, I I don't think that's selfish at all. I think that's no. um, that's the, the best reason to go about doing something like this. And I, I think it, it comes across in the content that you put out and even just your your presence on social media. Um, you know, people people know that you have a passion for this kind of thing and you're just a genuinely nice and good dude. People want to be around you. They want to watch your stuff because of that. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, that's, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, like to, to have... Um, instant fans but have friends you know like i want to make friends like you guys you know absolutely i think that's like i don't know it's really cool like meeting like because we you know like 20 years ago we might not have ever met because this like thing that we know now i mean it, it existed the internet was a thing but it wasn't like you couldn't just broadcast yourself on youtube and find people you know all over the place so i just i think it's yeah. awesome like the internet's awesome it's also can be like kind of scary but but for the most part oh, it's sure. pretty cool like <laughs> yeah. for, for the most part it's pretty cool like that you can find like like you know draven lives in uh canada and it's like i definitely would have never met him and oh, i didn't know he was kinda, canadian kinda, yeah he lives in uh, nova scotia okay <laughs> yeah for those who are watching and may not know he's talking about draven swift bow yeah. a really cool channel very community focused i mean anytime you see on twitter He's like, hey, let's get so and so to, you know, a thousand subs or, you know. Yeah, he's that kind of is what gave me a little boost. I woke up one day and it was like, subscriber, subscriber, subscriber. And I was like, what is happening? <laughs> and then I, I realized like later in the day, like, oh my gosh. I, yeah, that was really cool. He gave me a shout out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's a great guy. I've yeah, he's awesome. emailed him back and forth and stuff. And uh, this coming Saturday, I'm playing a Call of Cthulhu game with him uh, and a couple other people. Oh, that's um, fantastic. Yeah. Nice. The Rollstats, awesome. uh, Bill from Rollstats, he's oh, going to yeah. be playing. And yeah. So I guess they do that like once a month. And so he invited me. And I haven't played Call of Cthulhu in a while. So I was like, yes, finally, I get to that's get to very play. Cool. That's awesome. Uh, I've never actually played Call of Cthulhu. I, I, Cthulhu, Cthulhu. <laughs> I hey, you want to play some Call of Cthulhu? You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll bring yeah, you know, John and Josh. We'll come over here. We'll get some uh, cannolis. Uh, <laughs> <you know. laughs> it sounds like a food when you say it that way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Cthulhu, you yeah, know, Cthulhu. Like Calamats, uh, you know, fry it there and want to have the uh, marinara sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you got your coffee, you got your biscotti, you know, yeah. you Done, yeah. We can inspect the is dry. It needs more sauce. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, oh man. my goodness! You tell me we use the jar sauce for this Cthulhu? Are you kidding me? Get out of here! Get out of here, this guy. Amy forget, just told me I, I'm being like really loud because I've got headphones in, so I, I I can't tell how how loud I'm being. So ah. I just got, I just got shushed. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> try and keep things a little more solemn. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's the the New York accent. It, it makes is. people want to yell when they start doing the New York thing. Come on, uh, forget about it. Come on. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm walking it. Yeah. Oh, man. All of that uh, to say, I played the game. I uh, appreciate <laughs> the the books and i i have the seventh edition handbook like uh, oh yeah my, it's my a great shelf. handbook yeah they really stepped up their game with seventh edition yeah i it's i saw cool. your uh your review of the box set and that that looked awesome too like everything in there yeah yeah and uh i recently picked up the um the guide to lovecraftian horrors which is wow <laughs> it's such a great uh like fluff book it's it doesn't really have stats in it or anything but it talks about like each of the the monsters from the cthulhu mythos and stuff and uh hmm. yeah that's a that's awesome crazy the, the art is just crazy amazing i'm gonna do a video on it soon so oh man yeah i can't wait yeah for look that. out I, for that everybody yeah <laughs> it's gonna yeah i i just really like that book 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. It, you know the whole like Cthulhu Lovecraftian like uh, Eldritch Horrors and Great Old Ones and all that stuff. Like it was super interesting to me. It's just like I've only read one of the books. It was uh, uh, the case of Charles Dexter Ward, but it it was just mm-hmm. like menacing <laughs> reading it. Um, yeah, and I I, I I don't know. I I definitely um you know after watching your review of that, whenever it comes, I might end up buying it myself I, I know someone someone has a book where they statted up the uh statted up uh, lovecrafty and horrors for um uh fifth edition E and I don't know if it's still available it was a kickstarter a while ago but yeah i saw that uh my game shop i was gonna pick that yeah. up but they it was just the store copy like they had sold all the customer copies and it's just the one that they keep behind the counter <laughs> i was like no okay. i want that <laughs> what a tease <laughs> yeah but I looked through it. It seems really awesome. <laughs> nice. So outside of Dungeons and Dragons, would you, what would you say would be your favorite uh, system to play in? Would it be Call of Cthulhu or C- uh, Cthulhu? Yeah. Cthulhu? I think Cthulhu is probably my favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although I have not had a chance to play uh, Ocularia yet. Which is a it's an RPG from Spain, and it's, oh, exi- it's existed. Video. Yeah, it's existed for like a long time, like twenty five years or something. But it finally got put into uh, English, translated. Okay. So, uh, but the artwork is just incredible in this. It's very like old school. I don't know if you can see that. That's okay. probably yeah. not a good representation. But <laughs> yeah, no, yeah uh, Chaosium puts that out. So same people that put out call of cthulhu so i picked that up and that that may very quickly become my my new favorite thing i see so uh what what is it you like about um playing call of cthulhu i just i'm I'm a fan of horror (laughs) okay yeah so yeah whenever i uh run call of cthulhu games i usually i usually actually don't use any of the great old one stuff I think that stuff is awesome. I love to like read stories, you know, with the great old ones. And, but uh, whenever I run a game, I just like to do like, uh, you know, kind of haunted house kind of situations. Or one time I did like a zombie apocalypse kind of thing back when walking dead first came out, Uh, the the comic, not the uh, show. Okay. I'm old, I'm old school. Okay. (laughs) Uh, So yeah, I, I kind of just use that system to just do horror in general. I don't really use uh, any of the monsters and stuff, but I do think all that's neat. You know, would you have any tips for a game master who wanted to introduce like a horror element? Now I feel like talking about this with you, I want to be like, can you run Rhyme of the Frost Maiden for me? <laughs> like, oh, like, yeah, I want to be scared. <laughs> like, I am looking any... forward to that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do you have Especially any tips for running it's... that as a DM or GM? Um, honestly, I would, I could, like Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, for example, I would just really focus on that feeling of isolation that, that you get being cut off you know, from the rest of the world. That's one of the things I really like about 10 towns and uh, the Icewind Dale setting is the fact that it's, it probably feels like, uh, have you ever heard of 30 days of night? It's a, uh, it's an old comic uh, from like the two thousands about vampires, but it takes place in this uh, area of Alaska that, that literally has 30 days of complete darkness uh, okay. at, at, in like a certain time of year oh and, yes uh, okay yeah so all the vampires go to that particular location because well, they yeah. can just hang out for 30 days without having to worry about sunlight that's like and, a party uh, for them yeah and <laughs> it's cool. it's a really creepy like setting because of course you know it snows constantly so there's a there's a real feeling of like isolation in that comic where the survivors are cut off from every, you know the rest of the world and I would lean into that if I was running uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Playing, like form. playing at night, like by candlelight. I know it sounds kind of cheesy, but it's actually oh. it really sets an awesome mood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wow, that's a really cool idea. Yeah, yeah. there's a, right. uh, a book called Cthulhu by Gaslight, and it so it's basically Call of Cthulhu in like Victorian England, like jack the ripper era and uh that that one was really fun to play you know just with by candlelight and stuff so that's cool. that's a that's a fantastic tip 
I love that. Yeah, I've, I've never, yeah, I've never done anything fun. like that before. No, that, me neither. I, yeah, I can see that being awesome. Especially if you're going to play like Cthulhu on Halloween, you got to have some, <laughs> oh, yeah, some candlelight and yeah, <laughs> so, you know, set up the mood and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm, I'm curious. What, what is, I know fifth edition is not your favorite. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite edition of uh, D and D? Ah, see, it's hard because I don't, I, I don't really have like a favorite. It's so hard to say. It, it's like saying like pick your favorite child. It's like it's probably impossible. Uh, yeah. So I've enjoyed all of them. Like everyone hates on fourth because it's. I think that's like the trendy thing to do. But I actually really enjoyed fourth edition. I, I so loved three point five. I, I there's really not an edition that I don't like but I, if i had to pick a favorite man i preferred edition oh i love like the basic expert rules like the old moldvay box set okay um but i don't know if it's my favorite you know it's, it's hard to choose <laughs> I, I i say as a player probably basic expert uh you know the old set like that and then as a dm i would say probably 3.5 and that's only really because i dm 3.5 for so long that i just really got super familiar with that set and i had such good times with my players and uh so i'd say from a nostalgic standpoint 3.5 as a dm was my favorite (laughs) edition yeah uh the only system that i have not actually played before so oh really uh, yeah i haven't played every edition i had um i guess when i became an adult i just was busy doing other things for a while and then i fourth edition came out and i was like getting back to my roots (laughs) yeah (laughs) and uh i got to play some some fourth edition which i thought was a lot of fun yeah i really enjoyed fourth edition but i i like uh minis and a battle mat so i i, mean, I could see where some people would not like fourth edition because it is very you know tactical and there is a lot of rules that involve being on a battle mat and stuff yeah so i i think everyone just thought that wizards of the coast was trying to be like wow <laughs> sure but i i never felt like that when i would played it i don't know i thought the classes were cool i like the warlord class Oh, a lot class. of fun, and uh, Aladrin. I really liked the inclusion of that race. Mm-hmm. I thought the Aladrin were pretty cool. That face step ability. Mm. Yeah, face step was so cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that was yeah. That's every time, every single time I'm gonna be an Elven character. I'm like, hey Josh, do you think I could, or I could like, try to like <laughs> trade this racial feature yeah. for that? Are you cool with that? He's like, yeah, whatever, Jake. You fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know that's important to you. <laughs> I feel like yeah, it, it works a little differently now. Like I feel like if I remember correctly in 4E you would kind of like disappear and then you'd reappear on your turn. So you'd be like gone. Yeah. I know. But you could but awesome. you could appear within like the your speed or something like something like that. Yeah. That's... I mean you were you felt like Nightcrawler. <laughs> like yes. uh, from the X-Men, yeah. I remember, yeah. I remember one one situation where I I couldn't tell you much about it, but the group I was in there was I think four of us, and I was playing a seeker, which is kind of like a elven, like kind of like a ranger ish. Catch the golden snitch, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. If I get the golden snitch, I win. <laughs> exactly. So, and uh, Lily would love that reference, by the way. Oh yeah, oh, I just yeah. watched those movies for the first time last week. Actually, he did. Oh really? The very first time. <laughs> yeah, I'm very familiar with those because I've been made to watch all of them. But I, I actually enjoyed them a lot. <laughs> yeah. But I, I just remember there was a point where I think I rolled really high on my initiative and I got to go first, and I was the only one in the group that did that. And and I was like, I don't know what's gonna happen, so I I dropped face step. And like this big boss came in and like totally AOE'd my group like hard, like really hard. And like I I was like the last person standing and got to win the day because of it. And I just remember thinking like that was face step. So and ever since then, when I saw it in the DMG for five E, I was like, yep, there it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> that's that's my jam. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's so sweet. like, no, nah, Josh, I know you've only ever. Uh, played fifth, but Jake, what's your? Do you have a, a favorite edition then? They all tend to scratch different itches, but I think yeah, because 
I'm going to say 5e because of, and it could be a bit of a perfect storm with how it's grown in popularity and so many more players now are playing because of 5e, but also things like Critical Role and yeah. the internet and, you know, everything that's out there um, yeah. just kind of put it in the forefront. And it's like, it's okay to be a nerd, everybody. You can play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> It's going to be just fine. You know, in fact, you're going to like it. <laughs> um, so I, I would say 5e. Yeah, no, yeah. I, 5e is awesome, especially for what it has done for the brand and bringing mm. so many new eyes, you know, to d and I, I just think it's great. Yeah. yeah. So I, I have only ever played 5e, but yeah. I'm pretty sure that 3rd edition or 3.5 would be my favorite, believe it or not. Because I, I, um, I believe it. I've kind of looked through most of them, like, you know, just read through some of the PDFs, whatever. Third edition, I, I actually got the core books for third edition, and I have two out of three core books for 3.5. And I'm just waiting for the perfect storm to happen so that I could actually, you know, play them. But, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, no, it, it was great. Uh, the, the source books for 3.5 were incredible. Yeah. I, I, I like so many cool books. Yeah, the, oh, the, yeah, they had so many. That's, yeah, when I look through the, the catalog, I know that they kind of got into trouble from releasing so many books, like, every month. <laughs> yeah. But I, I do wish we had, like, a little bit more of that for 5e, because, like, when I see they're like, okay, this is the book of, like, Nine Swords, and this is the, uh, the Psionics Handbook, and, you know, all of this stuff, or even just, like, the settings and, and things that they put out. I, I don't know. I get... I get hyped on on that. Um, I know yeah. I'll never ever be able to have a full collection of the third edition and three point fives, but uh, never know. Yeah, some of them are pricey. Yeah. yeah, you might get lucky and stumble into a store one day, like John did. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wow! Yeah, <laughs> you, never know. You, you never know what you'll find. Like that has not sold at some random hobby shop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just was curious. I mean, I know that uh, you're you're both Star Wars fans, right? Oh what yeah. Uh, what other what other uh, properties do you really enjoy? Like, um, um, you like the, like any of the Marvel stuff? And I know you've mentioned in your definitely. videos all, you you make a lot of comparisons to to different fantasy and uh, science fiction and pop culture figures. So I didn't know like what else you guys enjoyed. Oh my gosh, Ava said My Little Pony. <laughs> I, I, they, they don't look like yeah. bronies. <laughs> they big bronies here. Yeah. Can't, <laughs> yeah, can't say that one gets me. Uh, <laughs> um, so actually, we, we have a second channel, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. My Little Jabroni. <laughs> no, uh, definitely Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter. Those are the probably game of thrones those are probably the, my biggest influences as far as oh, uh like one. fantasy would go um but yeah marvel i mean I, I was always uh marvel and dc i was comics you know loved that as a kid yeah me too always always more into superman than i was batman i know all the cool <laughs> kids like batman but i was like <laughs> Like, so look was, at the guy uh, that the is the good kid. guy, and he's not the dark kid, you know? Like, he's, he's <laughs> like, I'm going to be the beacon of hope. Like, <laughs> Josh is probably going to pull out, like, a bat signal or something right now. <laughs> no, I just happen to have, sorry, I just happen to have, uh... There it is. We got some, bat Batman is definitely, if, if we're talking, like, superheroes, Batman's my favorite. We got Death in the Family, mm -hmm. Dark Knight Returns, Killing Joke, Second Chances, a lot of random crap here. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a big Batman fan. Um, love X Men. I never really read the comics or anything. I, I oh, more oh. like the 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 '90s uh, TV show. Oh yeah, know, the animated Disney? series. Oh, I get up in every every yeah. Saturday morning. <laughs> oh, it was the best. Yeah, the no, song was great too. X Men is like that's something I collect for. <laughs> it's like stuff from the '90s oh, nice. when I was a kid. Yes. Yeah. So. I always That's try awesome. to, to pick up the old 90s Toy Biz toys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a yeah, huge uh, collection of Marvel Legends, but I've started to sell them on eBay to support my RPG habit. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, that sounds that goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah. As a collector, I feel like you need to make sacrifices like that as a collector. You, you do. You can't collect you do. everything, but you can collect all of one thing, maybe. 
it's like, well, Dark Sun is expensive. I better sell some of my other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> as far as like other, like, uh, I don't know, fantasy things or whatever. Definitely, you know, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. I love. Um, I feel like we're Harry missing Potter some big just, ones. Huh? Missing I, something? I feel lot. like there's just some big ones out there that I feel like they're, I'm missing. I can't remember. Like, uh, like Pirates of the Caribbean or Indiana Pirates Jones. Oh, Indiana Jones, 100%. Josh. My dog's yeah. named Indy. Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, full full name is Henry Jones Jr. <laughs> That's but, right. That's awesome. <laughs> Junior? <laughs> Come on, Junior. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, I, I think the thing that I, I honestly, somehow, I didn't think anything was ever going to be able to jump to the top of my list because I, I loved Star Wars that much. But uh, I, don't, I don't know if, you, if you're a reader, yeah. if you um, read any like, sci-fi books or anything, but uh, the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. No, I've not read it. Just the, I can't recommend it enough. I, it's like the best science fiction, science fantasy series I've read ever. Cool. Um, That's and high there, praise. There's, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's five books so far. There, he's working on the sixth, and it's just... Um, I, I, that's definitely my favorite um, at the moment. Yeah, um, awesome. I'll have to check those out. I would also have to add Star Trek to uh, to my oh, list. Yeah. I was like, I, if there's one that's like, like, duh, like that's kind of a big name. <laughs> like, that's, that's, you know. that's why I said, no, I don't think there's another like, one. No, Jake, just stop with your Star Trek. <laughs> You've I, named all the things. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, no, I cut my teeth on the next generation there. And uh, oh yeah, yeah, me too. My dad was a huge next generation fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my my dad liked all the all the all those types of shows from the nineties, like uh, Xena ba- and uh, ba- Babylon Five. Babylon Five, Stargate, yep. uh, Highland Highlander. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, he oh, he, uh, he got me into all See? that all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I love the movie Highlander, but. The, the TV show, there's just something about, like, uh, 90s sitcoms were fantastic, but 90s dramas, I, I, can't, oh, I can't do it. Come <laughs> on, like, you, you can't hate on Highlander. It's, it's, uh, actually, it is, like, really cheesy, but um, as a history fan, you gotta appreciate, like, all the, all the sets that they would do for, like, the flashbacks yeah. and, like, all the, they tried to get, like, the little historical accuracy details in there. But sometimes you need the show. cheese. <laughs> sometimes you need you need the what? Sometimes the you need the cheese. Sometimes, right? Yeah. So Kim, well, so Kim will yeah. watch. So my yeah. wife Kim will watch something like. <laughs> she'll go back and watch something like nine hundred two one zero, like the original. And I'm yeah. like, "What do you do?" And she's like, "I just need a juicy '90s cheeseburger right now." <laughs> I'm like, <Yeah>. "Okay, <laughs> fair enough. That's a great way to put it." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you just need a, a yeah. juicy '90s cheeseburger. Yeah. Like, all right. <laughs> Tell Brenda and Dylan I said hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it really the cheesiness for me, though, like there's there's something about even just the way they're filmed, like. My so my parents yeah. recently watched. Um, they recently watched North and South, which uh, if it, it's basically if, if anyone I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it, it was like a series. It's, it started off as books, and then they made a mini series on it. Um, it's about the Civil War and uh, basically two friends: somebody who was south of the Mason-Dixon line, somebody who was north of it, and you know, all sorts of stuff happens. They made. All of these, like Patrick Swayze's in it, uh, they, but they made like all of these episodes of it, and then years later they did another season of it, and I had no idea that it was years later. I, I you know, I, I just happened to walk downstairs. My parents are watching this, and I was like, "Oh, that's weird. This looks like it's from the '90s. What happened here?" And it's, it's from the '90s. You could t- literally like Josh. thirty seconds of watching it, the very beginning. I'm like, "What? What, Josh?" Like, you're from the nineties. I am from the nineties. <laughs> so like, you can't well, hate on it. <laughs> There's something about the dramas that I just don't know what it is. But I but don't know. like that's the thing. You're probably more nostalgic for like stuff from the two thousands. Like because like I was born in eighty five, so mm-hmm. I'm not like a huge fan of eighties stuff. But the nineties, yeah, since yeah. that's 
where I spent most of my childhood and like yeah. preteen years and stuff. Like that's why I probably am so nostalgic for it. So Definitely. you probably are like Papa Roach fan or something. <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that in the 2000s? That was in the 2000s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Olympus, you know. Hey, I mean, you know, sometimes you gotta listen to new metal, you know? Have a right. Right. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> my, I'm actually the youngest. My my brother is uh, eight eight and a half years older than me. My sister is seven years older than me. So I yeah I, I get a little bit of both because I watched what they watched. And right. Yeah. Also, but but yeah, that's definitely true to an extent too with the uh, 2000s thing. <laughs> yeah, I love it when you call me Big Papa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's kind of like a running joke like the whole um big papa thing that's uh, a running joke at my table on sundays it's a long story right. <laughs> sometimes that's the the, the the inside jokes and moments that you can reference from D D gameplay <laughs> it's just classic See, and that's another reason i love D D is yeah. just like sitting around the table and having those inside jokes that you have like for years and years yeah, we're gonna be every yeah. time we talk about Call of Cthulhu, it's it's Cthulhu now. That's just the yeah. thing. Yeah, that's that right. Is, you'll, that hear is us, is. you'll hear us reference pretty often. Uh, what's your face AC? <laughs> because one time <laughs> you're playing a game, <laughs> the the paladin got into a fist fight with uh, and, you know the paladin's wearing like I don't remember if it was blade uh, or chainmail at this point, yeah. but he gets into a fist fight with an orc. It was Jake's orc, a uh, half orc, yeah. And it was, we were just having fun. It was like silliness. It was actually an April Fool's game, but he, he ends up beautifully done he, by Nooch. He, he, you you try to punch him in the face, and he's like, "Well, he shouldn't be able to punch me in the face. Like I'm wearing this armor." And he's like, "Oh, that's your AC. What's your face AC?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you, you, all right, fine. He punches me in the face. <laughs> That's awesome. That's, That's funny. Hey, but those moments, yeah, of course, they last a lifetime. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Um, you know, this is the first time we've done any sort of interview or thing like this. I'm sure we're going to do some more of them, but I'm really glad that uh, you know we were able to meet like face to face and and we chat yes. for a while. It was great. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. No, it was nice. Thank you guys so much for having me on. I appreciate it. Absolute absolutely. pleasure, John. I'll have yeah. to uh, figure out how to use all this kind of stuff, and then I can have you guys on my channel. Sure. Hey, <laughs> We'd be honored. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about Cthulhu. Cthulhu, yeah. <laughs> this guy is always down guy. to talk about Cthulhu, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we have to stay in character the entire time, like an episode of hey, Sopranos. Listen. That would be You're going to have somebody game. to stay in character the entire time. And you want them to talk in a New York accent, you came to the right place. You know what I'm talking about, guy. Okay. Here's yeah. the thing, you know? This is me, 110% Italian, you know? I mean, 110%. You know, forget about it. You know? There it is. <laughs> That's know. awesome. <laughs> we're definitely, we're definitely going to make that happen. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, if anybody wants to find John's channel, uh, it's Blue Dragon RPG, same on all socials and whatnot. But again, we're going to have those links down for you. And please, please subscribe to him. Yes. You will not be sorry. He's got tons yeah, of I appreciate reviews it. and all sorts of stuff. Honestly, it's, it's always, I feel like I never know what I'm going to get when you post a video, but I'm always happy with what it is. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I never know what I'm going to post. So it's just... <laughs> I feel like I've I didn't mean to like do so many reviews. That wasn't my original intention, but it's like you, it's hard to not talk about like something awesome that you just got. It's like oh you know I want to make a video about this. Yeah, yeah. I'm Definitely. like I didn't mean for my channel to be so full of reviews, but I'm gonna try to get out of that because or not <laughs> do as much because I I am interested in like talking about lore and just like different campaign settings and stuff like that. So. <laughs> Hopefully my videos will get more interesting, <laughs> but it's like, it's oh, easier it's to film weird. reviews. <laughs> Very so, interesting. Like sitting down and just turning the camera on and flipping through a book is easy uh, compared to like writing a script and stuff. So sure. it just all depends on what I have time for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, all of it. I mean, even when you guys were doing the, um, 
well, I forget what you called it, but the oh, creature feature, something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I know. Yeah, we, we've, we've got stuff written, and uh, I even have one recorded. We have one on dryads that I need to just edit. Nice. It's like yeah. <laughs> so I just need to sit down and and edit those. They take a little bit longer to edit, but Sweet. yeah. <laughs> Just finding the time, well, it's like, that's, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. yeah, there's um, the challenge rating for your time is <laughs> really high up there. Oh, yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> it's undefeated. Time is undefeated. <laughs> Still the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. <laughs> But yes, if you want to see a very authentic person talk about uh, a, a passion in his life, meet his beautiful family, Ava and Lily, definitely go subscribe to Blue Dragon RPG. You will not be disappointed, I promise you that. <laughs> All right, so I got to ask, what is the deal with the little goblins that show up in your videos? <laughs> All right, well, I'm just like a big fan of the Pathfinder goblins. Yeah. And so originally I had... Like I, I decided that when I got to like 90 subscribers, mm -hmm. I would do like a little contest uh, from 90 to 100, you know, and like when I get to 100, I would do this big thing. Yeah. And so I came up with the idea to hide like the little goblins like in my videos and stuff and then tie that into like the contest, you know, to like to get the prize or something. But uh, then draven ended up shouting me out and i just right, kind of right i it. shot past 100 and i wasn't prepared so yeah. thanks david swift bo you and your nice ways you and your nice ways i thought yes. i imagined it i thought i was going crazy that, that's i didn't say anything to jake about it i was just like all right well yeah. we're just gonna we're just gonna drink less coffee, I think, and then, yeah. you know, maybe cool with the Cthulhu, you know? Yeah. Imagine so an Italian good. goblin. I'm sorry, what would that even be like? 